Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel The Pharmacy Talks. Today in this lecture we are going to discuss about the ultraviolet spectroscopy. Or, UV spectroscopy. So before starting today's discussion, please subscribe to our channel if you're new here and press the bell icon. So let's begin. Spectroscopy is the study of interaction between matter and electromagnetic radiations. And in UV spectroscopy, the electromagnetic radiation used is ultraviolet radiation. In UV spectroscopy, the light used is of wavelength ranging from 200 to 800 nanometers that is the wavelength of UV visible region. It is allowed to pass from a lamp source to the monochromator. This monochromator consists of two slits and one prism. The light after passing through it is of some intensity. Let's say I dash. This light of specific intensity is now allowed to pass through the sample cell and the reference cell. Reference cell or sample cell are made of cuvette. Reference cell contains buffer. Or blank solution so that the light passes through it without any absorbance with the same intensity. The sample cell contains the sample which can be any protein, so when this light emitted from monochromator passes through the sample cell, some portion of light is absorbed. The intensity from the sample and reference cell is detected by the detector and the recorder provides the result in the form of graph. We can analyze the sample by comparing the results with the standard result. UV spectroscopy is based on the Beer-Lambert law, which states that the absorbance is directly proportional to the protein concentration and path length. Protein concentration means the concentration of sample present in the sample cell and path length means the length that the light will have to travel in the sample cell. Now we'll discuss the applications of UV spectroscopy. UV spectroscopy can be used for qualitative or quantitative analysis of any drug. It is used in the identification of various plant constituents. It is used for screening crude plant extracts for presence of unsaturated compounds which show characteristic absorption properties. The complete absence of UV absorption also provides some useful information. It helps to indicate the presence of saturated lipids or alkynes in lipid fractions of plant extracts, organic acids or sugars in water-soluble fractions. It is used for the qualitative determination of glycerisic acid in crude drug or simultaneous estimation of curcumin. That's all for this lecture. Thank you for patience listening and watching.